Cornwall has a rich and fascinating history. Iconic engine houses bear silent testimony to the days when, for a short time, the county was the richest place in the world. Let Cornwall Living take you back in time as we take a look at how our traditions and landscapes have been shaped by generations of miners and fishermen. It's hard to imagine now that once, not so long ago, Cornwall was the epicentre of a massive mining industry and was home to inventions that changed the world. Tin was a rare and valuable commodity. In ancient times, traders travelled from as far away as the Mediterranean to trade for tin at the legendary Isle of Ictus, St Michael's Mount. Over time, miners began to follow the deposits of tin and copper ever deeper into the earth. In 1796, Camborne's Richard Trevithick invented a high-pressure boiler and the golden age of Cornish mining was born. Steam-powered beam engines were introduced, enabling shafts to be driven thousands of feet deep into the hard rock, and tunnels extended out underneath the seabed for as far as two miles. On stormy days, miners could hear undersea rocks rolling around above their heads. Work was dangerous, conditions harsh, hours long. Accidents were common. This week, Four men have been injured at Cambrai Mines, and one poor fellow so badly injured at Wheel Peaver that he lived only a few hours after. Before those were admitted, there were in the accident ward three miners. One minus a leg, another a toe, another a hand. The mines also required an extensive transport system to serve them. A vast network of roads, tramways and railways linking the harbours and foundries to the mines. The ports and harbours we see today were built to export copper and import coal. Our towns and villages were built to accommodate the thousands of miners. Uniquely Cornish sports evolved. Shea racing and Cornish wrestling. And the famous Cornish pasty was born. A meal in a crimped pastry pocket that would sustain the miner through his day's work. But increasing global competition forced the closure of Cornish mines and the migration of much of its mining workforce. South Crofty ceased production in March 1998, the last working tin mine in Europe. Today, Cornwall's mining landscape is quiet and tranquil, and few remember the days when Cornwall led the world. Discover a world of exclusive jewellery and beautifully crafted timepieces at Michael Spires in Truro. As the only official retailer of the prestigious Patek Philippe brand in the Southwest Peninsula, Michael Spires has become a byword for excellence, distinction and uncompromising quality. With a selection of top brands and some of the finest examples of exclusive jewellery, at Michael Spires you can be sure of high quality, supreme service and best value, whatever your style. Michael Spires, exclusive jewellery. There really is something for everyone, young or old, among Cornwall's premier attractions, which you can find on your Cornwall Living map. Let us do the legwork as we take a look at a few special days out around the county. Lose yourself in a world of maritime history at the National Maritime Museum Cornwall. Numerous stunning exhibitions beautifully illustrate our island nation, including the Search and Rescue Exhibition. Ascend the 100-foot lookout tower then descend into the depths of the tidal zone. With hands-on activities, talks, lectures, workshops and events, don't miss your chance for a visit. You will find more than you might expect. Tour Cornwall's Back Road Tours take you off the beaten track and show you the hidden gems that this stunning county has to offer. You can choose from a range of day trips, have your own car and guide, or join up with some friends and take a minibus tour. Either way, you get to relax, sit back, absorb your surroundings and enjoy this fabulous county. With themes such as Cornish food and wine, Cornish gardens, walking, heritage or wildlife, it's the perfect day out. Flambards for rides, park, museum and gardens has something for everyone. Step back to a bygone era and experience unique exhibitions, including the Victorian village. 
Take a walk through history to the sights, sounds and smells that vividly depict the hardships of World War II. The 1 to 11 indoor play area is open 360 days of the year. If you are feeling daring, try over 25 rides and attractions. Flambard has to be the best day of the week. Discover Polgoon Vineyard and Orchard just outside Penzance. Polgoon produces a range of award-winning Cornish wines, ciders and fruit juices. Enjoy an interactive wine and cider tasting or a guided tour with the winemaker and gain a fascinating insight into the activities of a working Cornish winery. Visit Polgoon Vineyard and Orchard and discover one of West Cornwall's best kept secrets. Whirlwind Sports, your local family owned sports shop. A friendly and relaxed atmosphere catering for all types of sport and offering a full range of products from top brands. See you in store to experience our professional advice for all your sporting needs all year round. Stores on Lemon Key, Truro, and also Helston, Camborne, and Penzance. Well, win sports. From sea to sand, coastline to countryside, Cornwall is the perfect place to kick back and relax. With an incredible selection of boutique shopping, modern galleries, artisan markets, and some of the country's finest restaurants in every Cornish town. This is how we at Cornwall Living see this great county of ours today. Cornwall today has lost none of its picturesque charm, but has successfully combined that with what discerning visitors are looking for in 2013. In a county best known for its pasties, there's now cuisine to please even the most discerning palate. But it's not just fine dining that's evolved in the county. Using the best of local ingredients, small producers are creating delicious local specialties. Farmers markets are worth checking out. And there's always the freshest harvest of the sea. The sea has shaped Cornwall and is the reason why most people visit and the county's become a major boating centre. With many marine events and festivals of the sea happening here. The oceans are playground, where our seas are among the cleanest in Britain. Our eco-credentials are impeccable. The beach is the centre of activity all year round. The amazing light and variety of subjects has led to Cornwall becoming a centre of the arts. Unlike most other places, small retailers still thrive in Cornwall, making it a great place to shop. And also a great place just to relax. This is modern Cornwall. Renowned for its atmosphere, Ocean One provides a unique and eclectic blend of talented designers from all over Europe. The collections comprise a wide selection of fashion for different tastes, both classic and trend. Our aim is to provide discerning women with a destination for unique fashion labels that are stylish, elegant and original in relaxed and stress-free surroundings. Shops at Foy, Padstow and at Topsham, just outside Exeter. With a landscape sculpted by the sea and a wealth of incredible properties, join Cornwall Living as we take a look at what the county has to offer the discerning buyer, whether that be a traditional cottage, a majestic manor house or a stylish modern abode.
Cornwall's not only famous for its beautiful coastline, sandy beaches, fishing villages and countryside, but it's also widely recognised and regarded for its stunning properties lining its coves. The unique fishermen's cottages that make our coastal villages so charming and its distinguished country homes. The history of the property in Cornwall has been shaped by its rich tin mining heritage, connection with fishing and the Atlantic Ocean. Its future is being shaped by our desire to strike that perfect life work balance. With Cornwall now connected to the world with super fast broadband, Cornwall offers the perfect location to work hard and enjoy life to the full, all against the backdrop of the Atlantic Ocean. I think the property market in Cornwall is largely um, influenced by lifestyle living as well. It's not just about the property um, and the bricks and mortar, it's about the lifestyle that living in that area uh, gives you. And, and indeed the properties are, are designed to maximise the light and, and the views invariably. Um, so so property, property here in Cornwall is really quite different to um, perhaps more urban properties, um, which, which is really lovely to be a part of selling a lifestyle as well as a property. At Acorn we bought um, some pretty uh, sad and derelict hotels um, for, for our development sites and we have given them some new life by creating new apartments, self-catering apartments on those locations. And so I guess really we've um, swapped what was a holiday bed for another type of holiday bed and, and more modern contemporary um, accommodation. Um, and, and I think that's been good for the economy. People are coming down and renting these um, these properties and I guess they, they eat out a lot and they go out and do things during the day so they're putting a lot of money back into the economy as well. Um, I'm incredibly lucky, my office overlooks Fistral Beach and, uh, and so at lunch times I do steal a few minutes and uh, go for a walk across the beach, maybe just take a little paddle, clear the cobwebs and back to the desk in the afternoons. We run our business on a very family orientation because my, my daughters work with me the girls they went to school with, I employ. So it is, it's, it's very, very personal, and I hope very, very warm and welcoming. My experience with the property market from when I first started, I started in the last recession, um, so obviously it was quite difficult getting the business off the ground. And then obviously the market took off, I think with the, the introduction of the internet, and the fact you can come to Cornwall, and then people can actually have communications if they've got their businesses in London, people are still wanting to come to Cornwall. They still want to have the second homes here um, because it is a good investment. You can't really go wrong. I, as a person, have always been drawn to the sea. Um, I've travelled an awful lot and I've lived in lots of different places, including cities and towns, but the sea has always had a pull for me. And it's, once I've moved to Padstow and could see the estuary, and it changes every single day, every single morning you wake up, I still even though I've lived in the same house for probably 36 years, I still wake up every single morning, look out, and it's a completely different scene, and I still say, wow. So the property market in Cornwall is, I think, very different to anywhere else in the country. Uh, one day I could be going to see a charming little cottage, chocolate box cottage on a creek, and in that, uh, the, uh, that afternoon I'd be going to a modern contemporary clifftop house. The next day, uh, uh, farm on the moor and you know to have that variety in such close proximity so variety of locations and then within each location a totally different cross-section of types of property and I haven't seen that anywhere else. I think in Cornwall um, to me what's always seemed special is you're never more than half an hour from the, from the water and so in one day you could go surfing in the morning uh, and in the afternoon you can go sailing and there's not many places in the world you can do that literally and, and, I, and I, to a high standard and I think that that's why Cornwall Living is the ultimate lifestyle by the sea. Not many people realise Cornwall Air Ambulance is charity funded. For over 25 years we've provided a vital helicopter medical service to Cornwall and the Isles of Scilly. We fly 365 days a year and assist anyone in need of our help, young or old, visitor or local. Every year we attend around a thousand emergency missions, every one charity funded. Cornwall's stunning beaches are becoming increasingly popular. Whether it's a family day out, the walk on the coast path, or the water sports Cornwall's so famous for. Part of what makes the coast so enticing can be its remoteness. It's often these places that we needed most.
What started off as a normal day down at the beach could have ended really differently if it hadn't been for the Cornwall Air Ambulance. My daughter Harriet, when she was just nine years old, was dragged out to sea by a riptide. We can be on our way to an incident within three minutes of a 999 call. We can reach any part of mainland Cornwall in under 20 minutes. Often it's a race against time, and that's what Cornwall Air Ambulance is all about. Come with us as Cornwall Living takes you on a journey through the sky. It's not until you experience the county's landscape from a bird's eye view that you can begin to grasp its true beauty and majesty. Cornwall is unique in that you only have to take a few steps from the door of your hotel to be transported into paradise. Follow Cornwall Living as we take you off the beaten track to hidden corners in some of our favourite places. 